Welcome to the Shulamite Podcast, an extension of Shulamite Ministries and Shulamite.com, with weekly interviews and teaching with author and speaker Martha Kilpatrick and hosted by John Enslow. This weekly podcast is a way to stay connected to the ministry. So come experience anointed messages, not giving just another method, but a living impartation. Well, that's what gives me personally a, a real heart for the tragedy. It, it's tragic because you're talking about people that are locked in and don't know how to get out. They're bound. And the, for it to be that tragic, that, that's, that's heinous. She was a woman that you loved, I loved, we loved, who was caught. And she knew. And you had the most precious vision. I don't think she would mind if we tell it. But you had a vision of her years ago of God holding his arms tightly around a hysterical child. And he was going to hold her until she could calm down. However long that took, is that the correct? It was to wear her out. To wear she her out. literally was hysterical oh. and she was flailing. And he just said, I'll, I'll hold you as long as I need to until you are completely worn out. Oh, my goodness. And um, that was that. But it was a tragedy. There was a tragedy in it. And um, and there was a rescuing. But uh, what what we said while you weren't here is that the super spiritual are renegades. Renegades, uh, rebels. Yes. They're they're renegades and they're um, independent, as Carol said. Mm -hmm. There's an independence and a renegadeness um, that that makes them frightening. And one of the things that she said is Carol said about the authority. She said when she came underneath authority, yes, you did love. I loved, but when she came underneath, uh, God literally established an authority so that she had, and a love, so that she had the permission to come out and the way to come out. If she had never submitted to the authority, I don't believe she ever would have come out. And the reason why she wouldn't have is because the super spiritual are renegades. You are not under the authority of God if you are super spiritual because you are you are doing a form of godliness without the power which comes by from his life super spiritual people are right they believe they're right and they believe really that everybody else is wrong And, um, gosh, you, you go, that could be exploded. I, I see the explosion of it. But, and that makes them right there, that choice to be right makes them absolutely independent and unreachable. Um, unless that person comes to a, per, uh, to a place. God brought me to a place where, I mean, he terrified me. He really terrified me, meaning he saw it was a it was a choice of life and death, literally, life, heaven or hell, life or death. I have never been hung over hell as such, but that was a place of of knowing, knowing. You knew. I knew it. I knew it was life or death, heaven or hell, and that scared the bejabbers out of me. Really, it scared me more than my fear and my. Um, of staying where I was. Um, but, yeah, I, I really believe the, the super spiritual are rebels. They're independent, and they're independent because they believe they are right, and, and, we've, and they believe they already know. And there may be a pretense of humility um, and a, a slight de degree of acquiescence to... Um, what someone else says or someone else um, believes or whatever. But in truth, they believe they already know. Really, really, they believe. I, I believe there is a level. Yeah, they're totally un unteachable. Mm -hmm. 
Well, and I can relate. Okay. in in terms of the rebel, the rebellion, the refusing to come under authority, that's, you know, that's not been a small thing in my life. Still not a small thing in my life. And the fear of God to me must come and, and dethrone me. You can get caught in that. You do it. You make the choice. And then you can't get off the throne. That's to me that and that's almost it's almost as maybe it's worse a prison than when you can't get out of the pit. You know, you're either on the throne or you're in a pit. One or the other. And sometimes both. Maybe your throne's in the pit. Or it's just that dirty. But the fear of God comes and dethrones you. That's being hung over hell. Because all of a sudden you're not on the throne. You haven't got the scepter. And that delusion that there is such a thing as you sitting across the way from the Almighty saying, I will not, you can't say, as if you're equals. Tell me you're not on a throne. If you're equal to God, you've got a throne. He's God. Um, but the, the, the being right thing, I think that ties into the throne. If you're God, then, of course, you know everything. It's your interpretation of what it is. It's your morality, in a way. And that's, I think that's the other reason that this CD of the month is so necessary. And it's such love. Because they're not the only ones who, who will be held accountable. Mm -hmm. And you're absolutely right, Martha, when you said this is the call of the last days to the church. It's what you said in there. And I thought, you know what? That's exactly it. I can't run screaming away from these people because I want nothing to do with them because I find them morally repugnant. Because the spirit that's sitting on them is such the antithesis of anything I would consider godly. I don't have that that option. I don't have that right and I don't have that option. And what was it? You told a story years ago and it's in one of the booklets and several of your teachings, Martha, where you said uh, God told you to speak. And you saw the woman in a dream before God and she was being held accountable and she turned back and looked at you and said, why didn't you tell me? And the whole, the blood on your hands and all the rest of it. That there's so much that, that is blooming in the way of evil. And it's because we don't love enough to fight it. I mean, that's really for me, my prayer right now is I see my Oh, I do not love enough, not enough. And so it has become, and I've kind of taken it. I don't really like the word mantra because I think it has a little bit of kind of a kumbaya zen kind of feeling, but it is a form of meditation if you will take it. And I found myself going through the day and instead of saying, you will love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your, uh, what did I miss? Mind? Did I say mind? Strength. I put I, so I made it my declaration through the day, and I've been doing that for a week now. And I have to say, it, it's partly for this purpose, because if it doesn't become second nature, if it doesn't become something I move into that I, by my choice, have opened the door as wide open to him as it can possibly be, there is no way that I will have the love that will be necessary to confront as Jesus Christ in me would have that confrontation, that correction, that discipline, that truth coming in, in any way that would be received by somebody who's caught in that. You know, and that's the truth. That's the thing. It doesn't, it's very personal. This isn't, hey, you out there or so-and-so down the street. Is this not, this is a personal thing for every single person. If you are in the body of Christ, is this not personal for you? Will you not be held accountable for what you did or did not say? Same as them. I don't Now I've gone off the deep end a little bit. <laughs> but Jennifer, <clears throat> the wonderful thing about it, this challenge, this facing that all of it is that God, if you enter obedience for the sake of somebody that messed up, I'll say. God is so faithful. And if it's time for you to leave, he'll take you out. He doesn't just throw you in the to the wolves and watch you be shredded. He will undertake every step of it and, and undertake the love. And uh, 
the comfort is that his will will reign and it will protect you. And, and to enter it is far less dangerous than to fail to obey. We hope you've enjoyed the Shulamite podcast. For all the latest from Shulamite Ministries, please visit us at shulamite.com, where you'll find Martha's daily devotions, posts from getalongwithgod.com, and the online library of all of Martha's writings. At shulamite.com, downloading the free Shulamite app is easy, and livingchristianbooks.com is only a click away. Thank you for joining us on this journey to discover a God worth knowing.